Welcome to episode five of Mastering the Game Inside Coaching Minds, where we're looking at the world of sports psychology with Coach Michael Fuline. He's our head men's basketball coach at the University of Mount Union. I'm your host, Dr. Jeremy Bruick, and we want to welcome Coach back to share his perspective on the relationships between anxiety and stress in the world of sports. Thanks for being back, Coach. Yep, great to be here. Yeah, I know it's uh, getting to be that time of year, right, where stress yeah. and anxiety are everywhere around you. So how do you explain anxiety and stress to your athletes so that they're aware of themselves and more self-aware? You know, I've always said, um, you know, there's nothing like preparation, right? So a lot of anxiety, even in life, I think sometimes is when, when you just feel – um, you know, unease, you know, with, with expectations, you're, you're not prepared. Um, you know, you get a little nervous, there's some anxiety there, uh, especially before a big game, your mind starts playing some tricks on you a little bit, you right. know, and, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, when you talk about like the chapter talked about arousal, right, to the excitement. It's a big game. There's, you know, we often hear the term butterflies in your stomach. Right. Those are ner- those, those are good nerves, right? right? I mean, there's their stresses again. You overthink things um, as a as a coach, certainly, right, and as as players. So, um, but man, that's what makes this profession what it is, right? There's not many professions, um, probably aside from being a doctor or a nurse or, and things like that in the medical field, where these emotions run, you know, just constantly. Right. In, in my in my life right now. You know, we, we play Wednesdays and Saturdays and, you know, you're stressed about that a little bit and have the same anxiety about those games. And, and then my, my son plays on Tuesdays and Fridays, right? So yeah. you, you, you get to a point where you, you know, you're, you're excited to watch that, um, but you're also a little nervous about that. My daughter plays games on, on Wednesday. Like, so in the few line household, you know, this is, this is a, a huge topic and, um, you know, I think the biggest part of, of dealing with any type of uh, performance under pressure is just being in the moment and letting go a little bit, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So you've, you're talking uh, a lot about different types of anxiety and stress that you have, but um, when you're dealing with athletes, what are you doing with them to try to help them handle all of that? Yeah, so I, I think one of the biggest things that we've done, I learned this too um, at a pretty young age. You know, when you're growing up in the coaching profession, a lot of people say, you know, don't talk about losing. You know, it's like this. Well, early on in my career, I'm like, no, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. So before big games, I think it's important to, it's okay. Like, listen, like if we, we, we may lose the game and it's going to be okay, but how are we going to go about our preparation how are we going to go about how hard we play, the emotions that we're going to play with? Sometimes you just get beat, you know. Right. So um, we try to limit. I, I think when you talk to, to players and you just lay it out there, you know, like it's okay. And that's why team sports are so awesome because you you may need somebody to pick you up because right. um, they can see it in your eyes, right? Um, you know, we've gone through it this year. We've had some some unbelievably uh, close games and and sometimes and be honest with you this is a team this year um, where I haven't pressed all the right buttons right I mean you can see the emotions getting to us more than any years in the past Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that that you know we can touch on a little bit later but um, you know so it's it's always it's a fragile thing you know it's not easy dealing with certain individuals when it comes to dealing with with the stresses and anxieties but at the end of the day like i i tell my own children like it's 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 a basketball game right it's right. going to be okay everyone's going to go home yep. afterward right we're all going to be okay um so once you start minimizing uh you know the the magnitude sometimes of these games even playing in a national championship game hey you know you've earned the right to be here right you know we've earned the right to to represent you know this this uh, you know this team and this city and this school so go have fun while doing that and when you learn as an athlete to just kind of let go and just play and trust the god-given ability that you have and the same as coaches you know when we just trust hey we know what we're doing we've done this before don't overthink it um, positive results come from that but more importantly uh, no regrets come from that, right? You right. just let it laid it on the line, and 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 things worked out the way they worked out. 
Right, right. Great, great insight there, Coach, and just valuable, not just in, in coaching and sports, but in life in general, right? So when you're thinking about all the stress and the anxiety that you're managing as a coach, how do different leadership styles impact your athletes' stress levels? And what can you do as a coach to manage that stress in your team? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different techniques. I think a lot of coaches, uh, probably earlier in the early years, would can you can scream and yell, right? You mm-hmm. can you could do all those things, maybe out of fear, and sometimes that works on certain on certain individuals. Um, you know, we just like to have that open communication. Like we just want to like talk about things and and just get it open, and so we're all at least hearing the same things. Now, people may again deal with some of those stress levels differently um but just having a sense of ownership and accountability uh to what we can control and just worry about what you can control um jeremy like this is a great example you know this year and and, you know and it's you know it's been a stressful year there's anxiety because there's expectations right right And, and i think we'll talk more about uh stressors and things like that what causes you know the stress is is sometimes the outside world thinking that you're going to never lose a game right Right. man you guys are really good next year we're going back to the final like there's a lot of steps in between there and it's hard i mean like normal people who just are fans I, i get it but they don't understand you know how hard that is like to do what like our football program has done here like how unbelievably difficult it's almost like strange how hard and, and how often they've done it right but that's not the norm you know the norm is um you know every year is a new chapter so our team presently has had this anxiety and stress that man we have to do this again and again and i haven't done a probably a good enough job as a coach uh to alleviate that and just say hey this is a separate year that was last year right. this is this year you know those things, you know, having some experience and think, absolutely, it helps. But like seventy-five percent of our players this year didn't play in that game or weren't even here. Right. So when you go to these opposing schools, and you know, you are their Super Bowl every single time you play them, and there's things being chanted at us and said to us that is kind of shocking because everybody wants to beat you, right? right. You're, you're the on top of the mountain, they want to see you fail. They want to ruin your season and make you miserable. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of these players have to deal with that type of, you know, hatred almost, right? right. And they weren't even there. Right. So trying to understand and having just ownership of what we can control and the guys who did come back, you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. And that's what our basketball team looks like. And, 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 and that's... You know, that's upsetting. Trying to get your emotions under control. You're letting, you know, the pressure of the moment get to us. I think maybe myself included. You know, I've right. argued with officials more this year than I ever have because, you know, when things aren't going well, we got to blame someone, right? right? So now most of the time it is their fault. But anyway, that's <laughs> besides the point. Um, but it's, it's you know, so trying to foster a positive environment. Right. Trying to always have... Um, you know, an understanding of of the balance between you know having your your own goals right as this year's team and having you know the ability to to kind of block out some of the noise is is so crucial. But in today's day and age, man, it's just so difficult because everyone's talking. You know, yeah. I mean, if you lose a, if you lose a game. I mean, there was a point in the season, I think we won by 10, and, and people were, like, asking me questions. Like, man, that was a, I, you know, you didn't play very well. Like, <laughs> you know, so right. you get to a point where you you just get agitated. Yep. And um, and players see that, and they feel that. And yep. it's an unneeded stress to have. Just prepare for the game, play as hard as you can, and let's try to execute the best we can. And hopefully that's good enough to win yeah yeah and and something like that is just like probably going on through constant communication with your players and positive feedback and reinforcement of just what you're saying there control what you can control play yes, the game that I, you know 100 percent. and and I, i'll be the first to tell you that doesn't always work right like it may work for a couple of days or for a week mm-hmm. and then when you know when that man 
some of those tough times come in and you know the pressures start to rise you're down five with four minutes to go we have not responded well to that so this is something that i have to continue to study i think as coaches we have to learn to um be able to change Hmm. because your teams are so different year in and year out yeah um and we're not going to be perfect and my goodness i have not been you know this season but like it's a it's a way to to grow and learn as a coach yeah so you know as as you've kind of seen your coaching career span you know a number of years now is there any kind of strategy that you or even any of your assistant coaches use that you find to be effective in dealing with anxiety or sp- or stress or is it again just back to that feedback and communication uh, with players what do you do when you're when you're there or do we not know? Do you figure it out as you go? I don't know. A little bit of both. You yeah. know, I, I'm a big visualization guy. Okay. You know, so in the in the years past, um, you know, I tell them to look at the banner. Right. You know, like, do, do, do you want to see 2023, 2024 up there right. for a national tournament? You know, like, just look. Everyone turn and look. Like, because that's never leaving. Right. Like, you're going to come back to this gym, and your children are going to be here, yeah. and they're going to look up, and you'll be able to say, Hey, I played on that team, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's a visualization thing. You know, yeah. last year, um, you know, we had a player who came here and and wanted just to win, and we talked about cutting nets down again. I didn't, and he's like, I never cut down on that. Well, right. we're gonna get you a net, you know. And we right. end up winning like four different championships that year, and he had four different nets, you know. So that was a, but that's something we internally as a team talked about. Hey. Let's get Jeffrey in that, you know, and then yeah. we, we wore that with like a badge of honor. So just visualizing him climbing that ladder. And then the cool part is when you see it actually happen, yeah. they, like you just start believing in that. So I think a lot of it is is always going to be a visual, visualization. Um, talk about, you know, what do you individual meaning like what what's what's right? I had a high school coach call me today and you know he's having an issue with with one of his with one of his players yeah. and you know just some advice you have some advice for me you know i i said yeah i mean like at some point you just got to sit down and yeah. say hey man like what can i do to make it better for you right. that, like what are we what, what are you show your it looks like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders i had the same conversation with my own son who who in the first month of his season looked like literally you know what stress looks like right. dude it's just a game go you've trained for this right it's like a, a a student going into a test who knows the material who's studied who's done everything they can and then they you know hear about cold feet or they just freeze well no like just deep breath and go play so yeah. you know there's a lot of different things i think you'll never be go wrong with um just being able to communicate with the athlete showing some vis- visualization we talked about that you know the entire the entire semester here about just being able to to show mm-hmm. and see and visualize and trust the process and trust each other and know that especially in a team game that it may not be my night you're going to have to pick me up here until yeah. i snap out of it a little bit you know and yeah. um and that's the cool part about having a close team and that's why all those things are so important if someone is stressed and having some anxiety i've coached many players during the course of a game you just kind of take them out and just be like hey man when you're ready to like to go yep. let me know yep but you're going to regret if you're not ready so yep. i would suggest speeding this process up right. a little bit you right. know so you know i think in life i think having anxiety and stress comes with parenting right mm-hmm. being a husband being a wife um, you know, being a son, a daughter, like there's always going to have these stressful moments. Yep. And I don't think, and, and, and playing athletics and coaching athletics just helps you like be prepared for that. Yep. And I think a really important thing is just to take a step back and just take a deep breath and like, all right, man, like let's, let's get, let's get control of our, our emotions. This is just a game that we we're ready for this we've trained for it let's just go out and just play the best we can and then move on to the next day yeah yeah well real real valuable advice there for coaches for athletes 
for moms and dads and for kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We appreciate your time again, Coach, you know, on on this the Mastering the Game Inside Coaching Minds podcast. I want to thank you for being with me yet again and sharing your experience. It's, it's growing into a real great uh, semester for us, and uh, we'll be back for a couple more sessions of this uh, before the end of the semester. But I want to thank you for your time and your perspective, and and hope to see you again soon. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Coach.